on the Boulevard of Death, which is sometimes known as Queens Boulevard, to try to put forward a vision to say to all of New York, including the mayor, Commissioner Trinberg at DOT, and other elected officials in New York City, that there's a better way for everyone to live in New York City, and that arterial streets need not be places where people are killed and injured, but rather that we, as the best city in the world, can put forward a vision that stands as an example for cities throughout the world to say, streets are meant for all the people who use them. When do we want it? Now. Queens Boulevard. Now. Queens Boulevard. Now. Who's Boulevard? Now. The longer it takes to fix this boulevard, the more people we will lose. Regardless of who might choose to oppose this, because the consequence is more people die. And that's not an option. You are going to one day become a great teacher, a great father, a great uncle, a great someone. Between 1991 and 2001, there were close to 100 people that were killed on Queens Boulevard between the Long Island Expressway and the streets up here. I was tired of it and I wanted something to be done. I am putting $1 million, it is there right now, into starting the project on Queens Boulevard. But there's another side to this street, and it's the side that we're going to celebrate. Uh, it's what this street is really about. Uh, and, and, and it's a boulevard of life. And I give it that name, and it's inspired a lot. Karen Kozlowitz, our council member for this district who's with us, uh, has a dream that people need to recognize that this is a boulevard of life, a boulevard that can be beautiful, that should be a destination for, for people. And that's our goal. Our goal is to transform this boulevard.